Good morning. It is the very last day of deer season. It's the last day of the late season, late bow or muzzle loader, and we are going in on a big piece of public land where we live, and we're meeting Boris over here, and we're gonna plan on hunting the whole day. And what's really awesome is it's a snow out today. I mean, it's like we woke up, everything's white. It's supposed to snow all day. We'll be able to see the deer better. After our morning sit, we'll probably hop up and walk around. We'll just get the wind right and walk through the woods. There's a lot of timber here, but also some, some openings. So uh, we'll play it by ear. And I actually see Boris's truck right there. There's another access point we just passed. There was no trucks there. And it looks like he's the only one here, which would be awesome. We got the place to ourselves so far. So we're gonna hop out, get geared up and head in and we'll check in with you guys when we're all set up. Right now we have a north wind. We we're supposed to stay that way, but we'll head in down on this access. You know how there's a ravine, you go in, right? And then it kind of goes down. On that, that first field. trail? Or, yeah. yeah, it goes down to that creek bottom and back up. And it's really thick. And I know it's a bedding area. We went through there last year and it was definitely a bedding area. Maybe we just catch something cruising through there. But with this wind, it's not blowing down in there at all, right? It's mm -hmm. just kind of coming like this. So just for now, you know? And then we can, I figure we can move around a little bit once it gets, you know, with snow. minutes till legal. Yep. We'll just sit and see what happens right in the beginning of the morning and then we'll text and make a plan. All right, you got your phone on you? Yeah. On vibrate? No. Is yours on vibrate? It is, yeah. <laughs> and we got tags for everything. We got some wood in the back of my truck. I left in there for weight, so we can probably only put maybe six at the most. Oh, okay. That's how many <laughs> tags you probably have. I always have to explain this because we hunt a lot of times in an antler restriction area. This is not an antler restriction area. So we're in a different unit than what you guys see us hunting usually. So any any buck is legal go. So last day and we have I still have my regular season buck tag that I didn't fill. I, my my boat must tag I filled, but my regular season tag that I didn't use is still valid now. It is? Yeah. Oh I didn't know that. I tell you this, like I keep telling you, you don't remember. I filled my order. regular season buck tag. We literally have <laughs> eight tags right now. Well I have four. You, you have, have four? I have four. Oh. I have two, two three Fs. I have, I have a three F. And both I have a one Muzz and I have a buck that's three, that's seven. And you have all yours. <laughs> so there's more. Yowza. Okay, so, no excuses. But we'll probably not even see a f***ing deer. <laughs> all right, good luck. I'm, head, oh, I'm, I'm heading this way. All right, good luck. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Sorry I didn't take my glove off. That's all right. <laughs> I'll give you one all of right. these. Good luck. See you later. See ya. This is where we came in that one time we saw the buck right here. We just left our morning spot and slowly made our way up to, to meet up with Boris up here. It's been snowing really hard all morning, but now it seems like it's changed to rain. And it's been really tough to run the camera. It's been killing my binoculars and my scope and the gun's covered in ice. 
we're gonna do a couple of drives before we take a little break for lunch. Boris went down around the field and then popped into the woods way down there. I mean, it's probably five or 600 yards down that way. And he's gonna work his way up right along the edge through that thick stuff. And Josiah and I are just sitting up on top of this ridge here, looking down to the bottom. So of course, does kick anything out. We're hoping they come down through this, this bottom here. So I'll get a crack at one of them. It's brown, it goes down. <laughs> if it's brown, shoot at it. I don't know if it's gonna go down or not. <laughs> but yeah, that's the idea. And only the GoPro is rolling right now because the camera's not working. Because it's uh, got pretty wet. So after this drive, we're gonna head back to the car and try to dry things out. Tracks? Nope. It's beautiful back there. I mean, I've had a, a view of you know, 250 yards, the whole ravine. And... I think there's no other cars. There's no other tracks on the trail. There's nothing, no, no boot tracks or any tracks coming up this thing. I haven't seen any in the field yet. It's so just kind of stay here so we can... I would, I would, yeah, just kind of tuck in a little bit but so you can get this view, right. you know? You might hear them coming behind you, but... Are they better, or are we gonna maybe catch something running through here, too? You might catch something running through here, try to get a shot, but I, I, would, I would stay over here. We didn't see any deer. What do we see? A couple rabbits, no other hunters. So that's still pretty cool. We are taking a little time out. I'm gonna warm up and recharge. I got a super random lunch. Something I've always wanted to do is make coffee while I'm hunting. I always like come out of the woods in the morning like, oh, I wish I had coffee. So I'm gonna do it. I'm making coffee. Got some soup, some grilled cheeses. Josiah's eating some gluten-free stuff, because he has to. But we're just gonna do a quick lunch and then head back out. Hopefully actually see a deer this time. Mm, oh yeah. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Doing it. Well, we were bow hunting. I ended up calling somebody. I talked to some random person, and they were like, what are you talking about? Like, it sounded like we were in, like, in a war zone. Like, uh, from the Hudson, something's happening. It sounds like we're being invaded. I mean, the shooting, I was picturing ships on the Hudson River invading something. And poof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was weird. It was opening day of duck season. <laughs> But like, it's from all the guys that were duck hunting and the, all the echo from the valley. It was crazy. Can you hear through this? It's something that we were, we were laughing about before that nothing in the snow reminded us of and actually hunting at this property on this piece of public was last year hunting with Anders and Hayes. We took them over here and we were hunting, but uh, we never really had a chance of seeing a deer because we were just tromping around and we had the sled and we were having a good time and the boys enjoyed it. All right, we got Hazy Bear and the Christmas sled pulled by Big Brother Anders. I wanna pull out. How are you gonna pull yourself? I 
He's on the way back, okay? This is a downhill part. Let's let him pull it, I guess. All right, we're heading in. We're gonna start being quiet now, okay? Got it? You got that? Okay. Stay behind me, right, guys? Pace, you always stay behind, right? Right, Anders? Yeah. Do you wanna hop in? Do you wanna have brother pull you now? Do you wanna hop in? It's gonna be fun. We gotta be careful up here. It's a little steep, okay? We don't wanna lose Hazy down. <laughs> Let me know if he's starting to, to go. But we had some laughs, man. The boys a couple times. The one time they went down the hill on the sled and crashed into a tree, and uh, Anders took a spill. But that was just, you know, one of the most memorable hunts that we've ever had. And we really just were, were walking around the woods having fun. Hold on, say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love it. This is high difficulty here. <laughs> hey guys, are you all right? <laughs> you made your wife out in the sled. <laughs> hey there, are you okay? What happened there? <laughs> you got, you're pulling down this steep hill and then over that log and you guys went We're posted up for the last evening hunt on the same, same piece of public property but in a new spot across the creek from where we were before. I have never been over here. We have about an hour left of, of uh, legal shooting light and an hour left of deer season, so crunch time. One hour and 11 minutes later. Well, that wraps up the 2019 deer season. We didn't see any deer. Pretty disappointing, but we had a fun day. Came out and hunted from sunrise to sunset. And it reminds us of another muzzleloader hunt in the snow where we were successful two years ago. And uh, we never showed you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and show you that now. Oh, that's pretty cool, check this out. It's the morning of the second to last day of the season. The wind is perfect for this spot. It's a beautiful day. The sun's about to come up. 
it's really cold. We only have two hours on this morning, so we gotta get to work. But uh, as always, we're super hopeful. The heat's not working in my house. I have a dentist appointment at nine o'clock. And Josiah and his pregnant wife, Danielle, have a baby checkup this morning. But we're sitting in a tree. And that's what we do. <laughs> Today's a day. We're gonna see a deer today. Come on, baby. Got a couple of deer coming in. Oh, up the hill. Yeah. Too far over. I need them to come over this way a little bit. Come this way more. Come on, come on, come on. We got three deer coming behind us. They're making their way over this way, though. set up. They're coming this way. We'll let them pass behind us and we'll get hopefully get a shot over on this side. Okay, let's get ready. This is where she was when we shot. You can see the stand right there. This tree, they were walking right on this trail and when I, I first stopped her and she stopped with her vitals right behind that tree. And I thought I totally blew it. After a few seconds, she took a couple more steps and got to here and I stopped her again right there. You can see the first blood right here. And then the blood trail just gets bigger and bigger. 
I mean, I know, I know, I know that she's down. I just hope that was a, a good shot. My father, Boris, has been following us along with us on this journey, and he always checks in. Did you guys see any deer today? Did you see any deer today? I said, I want to send him a picture of the blood trail. I was excited in the tree. It's, it's still starting to like set in more. Like we're still working right now. We still haven't, we still haven't recovered the deer. We still are go down, but we're still working. Well, I'm starting to get excited. All right, let's keep following. Okay, she's right there, right there. There she is. See her right there? Definitely expired, but just we'll be cautious. I'll walk up and oh yeah, it's done. Now I can be fully excited. And you're feeling excited and everything, but I just gotta make sure that you're still being safe. As we start to get to work on it, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna unload the gun, put the gun aside, make sure it's safe. This is the time where, as excited as I am for being successful and getting a deer, I never look past the significance of taking a life. You know, we're so thankful for this deer and all the great meals she's gonna provide us. And I always just take a moment to, to recognize that and to thank her. Um, you know, it's, it's, you're, you're taking a life. It's important. Wow, a long season, huh? I mean, we hunted and we hunted and we worked. And uh, I mean, it's the 11th hour. It's right down to the end. And we got it done today. It's a good shot too. Right behind the shoulder. It's the first deer that Josiah and I ever harvested together. It was, this was the first deer we ever took together, so that was really special, it was cool. Since the one, I think, with, with my dad when we were, whatever, nine and 13 or something like that. But we definitely plan on going squirrel hunting more this winter, rabbit hunting. We're actually a little excited for rabbit hunting because we saw two big rabbits today over on this property. So that's cool. Coyote hunting. We're definitely gonna do more cooking. So in this off season, between you know, deer season and when we're back out there trout fishing and turkey hunting in the spring, we're gonna put together a bunch of the venison recipes that uh, we've shared on our Instagram account and show you guys how to do it. It's so fitting that we finished the 2019 deer season overlooking the Hudson River and down into the Hudson Valley. This is the reason why we're called the Hudson Valley Forests. It's so beautiful. And we're actually looking back to Saugerties, where I live. It's directly across the river from where we are right now. It'll take like about 30 minutes, 35 minutes to get home, but straight across the river as the crow flies. It's beautiful. I'm just not sure there's any deer here though. <laughs> The bottom of wow was hot. You're good. I'm freezing. There's one. 
hey, if there is one, don't have that reaction. Just point the camera over there. I don't think you'd be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have a chance. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Oh, it's all mud. Oh no. Slided. Slid? Yeah. Okay. That's probably gonna be a blooper. <laughs> yeah, it's a blooper, all right. I get to sigh up there. We're laughing. Slow pose. <laughs> Holy cow. Was that a face plant? He slammed his head on the ground. <laughs> you all right, Anders? Yes. Slippery. You're okay, bud. Come on. Oh, your, te <laughs> your teeth got numb? Oh, okay, come on. Let's walk out of here and get in the warm car. Come on. You just said your teeth were numb. I thought you were making a joke. You laughed at first. You laughed at first. <laughs>